In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CaCl2 plus MgSO4, calcium chloride plus magnesium sulfate. So the first thing we do is balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation, and it's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Next, we'll write the states for each substance. So chlorides are very soluble, little AQ after that. We have magnesium sulfate. Sulfates in general, they are soluble, put a little AQ. Chlorides, again, very soluble. So these are going to dissolve and break apart into their ions. But calcium sulfate, I want to check that. There are a few exceptions to our general rule about the sulfates. So you can see in general with the sulfates, most of them are soluble, but there are a few that are slightly soluble. And calcium, that's one of them that's slightly soluble. So a little bit of it will dissolve in water. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. For net ionic equations, when we have a slightly soluble compound, we treat that as if it's insoluble, so it won't dissolve. We're going to have a little S after that. So when we have this reaction, this will fall to the bottom of the test tube. A little bit will dissolve, but almost all of it falls to the bottom of the test tube in a precipitation reaction. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. Calcium, that's in group 2 on the periodic table. That'll have a 2 plus ionic charge. Chlorine, that forms the chloride ion, 1 minus. So we have Ca2 plus, I'll write aqueous later, let's not do that now, plus 2 of these chloride ions, 2 Cl minus. And then magnesium, also in group 2, 2 plus, the whole sulfate ion, 2 minus. So we're going to have Mg2 plus the magnesium ion and then the sulfate ion. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, 2 plus, and we said minus, so we have Mg2 plus again. And we have our two chloride ions. And for calcium sulfate, because that's a solid, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. That just stays together. So this is the complete or total net ionic equation. Now we'll cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. They don't really change, so we're not interested in them. So I see here in the reactants, two chloride ions, again, in the products. I see the magnesium ion here and in the products. Get rid of that. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for calcium chloride plus magnesium sulfate. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for CaCl2 plus MgSO4. You can see charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. They cancel out, give a net charge of 0. And this is a neutral compound over here. The atoms are balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CaCl2 plus MgSO4. Thanks for watching.